Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily collective message for March the 23rd. Keep in mind though, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could resonate today or over the next several days. This reading may or may not be for you, so please only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. I totally forgot that I lit that dragon's blood incense. Um, if you've not tried dragon's blood incense, you really gotta check it out. It is my favorite um, incense um, beyond sage. So anyways, guys, sorry, I got a little sidetracked. I had quite the interesting morning this morning, so I'm not sure how y'all are doing, but um, my puppy got out the gate and uh, I was running around at eight o'clock this morning in the pouring rain trying to find Bailey and thank God she's home. But talk about an adrenaline rush. Um, and so it's taken me a while to kind of ground myself and clear that uh, very intense energy. I'm not sure what that entails, but um, uh, the energy is feeling very intense today. Where I'm at, it's pouring rain, thunderstorms are being called for, so... <laughs> Um, the energy is feeling a little bit heavy, but I do want to talk about some of these astrology aspects first. Um, it's this pressurized energy. I feel pressure, pressure, and I'm hearing that song under pressure. So uh, a lot of ancient future visions, I feel, are coming through um, with this transit of Mercury conjunct Neptune. So both Mercury and Neptune are in Pisces, very dreamlike, expansive energy. Pisces is that high priestess energy. But I feel a lot of future visions when it comes to stepping into these new Earth timelines. And I do feel a lot of very intense subconscious realizations are coming through in the energies. And you may have the urge to really dive deep into the spiritual realm and your own esoteric knowledge. I think uh, it's this energy inclining us all to uh, dive deep into our spiritual nature. So... Any ounce of creativity that is coming up, I highly suggest immersing yourself in whatever you feel um, is meant for you. Uh, you might also feel very in tune and in touch with your higher self and your spirit guides today during this aspect. And the energy really is asking us to delve deep, to dive deep into our spirituality and to really nourish the energies coming through. I do think it is best to spend some time in meditation and to just cleanse, to cleanse your soul during this transit. And we cleanse our soul by purging these emotions. Tears is a form of purging and cleansing. So get ready to open up your mind and your heart when it comes to all things concerning spirituality. But we do need to be careful because Neptune rules illusion. So you're really going to need to utilize your discernment when it comes between reality and illusion what's real and what's fake. So in order to, you know, do that, you really got to be aware of any people that are deceiving you in your environment because there's a lot of misconceptions coming up all over the place today. And do be aware of people that are trying to twist your thoughts and to, you know, turn your mind to best suit their own personal agenda. So I feel it's kind of necessary to take extra care during this transit. And to really be on the lookout for those that are trying to purposely derail you along your journey. When I looked at the moon aspects this morning, the moon is in Sag. So it's, it is this very transcendental energy. And with the moon forming a sextile to both Venus and Mars, I feel the energy really is bringing forward this natural bravery when it comes to restoring your sense of dignity and i also feel the energy is very accurate when it comes to your instincts so i kind of feel during the transits today the energy is bringing forward an opportunity to let passion back into your life in a positive way not in an obsessive way because many of us are going to be very much in tune with our natural psychic instincts and I kind of feel this is where we are being asked to make no apologies for expressing our authenticity. So tune in to your own personal leadership qualities in the energies. That's what Mars is asking you to do, to have that confidence 
and that courage to take that initiative without creating resentment when it comes to others. So I think um, the energy really is asking you to work well with others. We don't always have to do this alone and to, you know, find the ability to kind of assert yourself without needlessly hurting another. So I do feel this really is going to improve a lot of relationships on the masculine end. And with the moon sextile Venus, I think a lot of the feminines in the collective really are in tune with their instincts at this time. And a lot of a lot of the feminines in the collective, and this is not a twin flame reading by any means, but we're more in tune with our caring, uh, our caring, loving nature. I feel this balanced, friendly energy is coming up, and it really is a good time to kind of just relax and to enjoy uh, the journey as you know, as as a carefree experience. So. I feel this really is a beneficial time for the collective when it does come to dating, beginning a new relationship, because the energy is very attractive, bringing forward sincerity when it comes to communications and feelings. So I feel romance is kind of budding in the air. And with the moon trying Venus, I feel many of us are kind of diving deep into our own maternal instincts, whether you are a male or a female, we all have masculine and feminine energies from within. And I think a lot of domestic issues are coming up in the energies today. And many of us are just focused on creating that very warm, pleasant atmosphere in our home and around our family structures. So if you have recently had a disagreement, this might be the perfect time to reconcile those differences. Um, I also feel finances are also going to be very advantage today, especially for those who are really truly in love with their job, their career, living their life in, in a sense of purpose. So I think get ready for some new opportunities and doorways to be presented um, because this is really a beneficial um, energy. But later today, we do have the moon square Jupiter. So this is really going to create this pessimistic energy and create doubt. Uh, it's going to create a lot of doubt when it comes to, you know, a path that maybe you have chosen. This can also bring up a lot of irritation when it comes to differences in relationships and bring forward a sense of self-righteousness can be very common under that transit. So it's this energy of maybe feeling like something is too good to be true. And if that's what you're thinking, then you're probably right. So I think emotions are going to, you know, feel balanced earlier in the day. And then as we come into that square with the moon and Jupiter, your emotions are going to wax and wane. And it's going to bring forward a lot of inconsistency within relationships. So you might have created all kinds of self-imposed limitations. And I feel the energy is providing you like that opportunity to see maybe where you've made a choice that hasn't really suited your life and to really spend some time in careful consideration when it comes to some future planning. So the energy can be very impulsive when it comes to emotional decisions. You might want to use your logic and your discernment today when it comes to rushing into something, especially if it's a brand new immediate desire that has been sparked because that might lead you down the pathway of some regret later on. So uh, do be prepared for a lot of projections when it comes to um, some very intense emotions in relationships today. And um, this aspect, although, you know, it is very generous, um, this could leave you financially and emotionally bankrupt. So finances are coming up to be addressed, especially if you've overestimated your spending habits. So I think you might want to seek some advice when it comes to, you know, maybe a financial advisor in the energy. Uh, but I think uh, when it comes to intimate relationships later this evening, the energy can feel very erratic and fluctuating between extroverted moods and introspection. So it's very polarized, um, dualistic energy. So it's all going to depend on your own strengths and your own personal Jupiter and moon aspects within your own natal chart. So this isn't going to be for everybody, but I think... Um, there's this fickleness kind of coming through when it comes to you wanting to do your own thing and breaking free from perhaps a temporary commitment or a false contract. And um, this can create this slipping energy when it comes to apathetic disinterest. So do be aware of that. Let's jump in 
with some cards, guys, and see what other energies need to come through for the collective today. I tried to set it up a little bit different so you guys can kind of see the cards on the table. We're going to start off by pulling into the Spiritual Journey Oracle deck. Forgiveness, self-development, beautiful. So where are you needing to offer forgiveness to another or even to yourself in order to liberate your heart from any residual pain below the surface? Because I think we're all kind of as a collective really stepping into this need of self-development to recognize where we need to nurture ourselves and this part that is asking us to expand and grow beyond our current limitations so let's jump in guys and see what needs to come through keep in mind this is not sign specific although i will call out any zodiac signs throughout the reading that i do feel need mentioning i think somebody needs to be willing to open up to receive so where do you have blocks when it comes to receiving love receiving balance receiving financial stability because when we open up to receiving love and showing that compassion and love to ourselves, that is when all of this inspiration can kind of flow through us effortlessly and we can release all of these negative emotions that really aren't serving us. So be mindful of any criticism from others or even you criticizing another because Criticism really is a reflection of something unhealed below the surface that is needing to be addressed. So you really might want to go into a lot of self-care today in the energy. Nurture yourself. Make those healthy choices. Infuse your energy with a lot of love and light. Because I feel there's a lot of emotional and physical symptoms coming up from this over-mental stimulus processing in the energies. And I feel um, releasing any negative impact. So... I feel many of us are clearing all of these unwanted uh, karmic attachments, all of these unhealthy memories when it comes to past pain and past trauma. And I do think get ready for a major catalytic event or a major life challenge ahead in order to kind of redirect you because I think somebody here is really stuck on focusing on the past, reliving the past. And it's kind of time to expand beyond these limitations, no matter what kind of change is coming forward in the energy. This is a blessing in disguise when it comes to embracing your soul's evolution. So somebody here has definitely been blocked and obstructed from moving forward, perhaps towards a reconciliation with a loved one, stuck in a very toxic, unhealthy, codependent relationship. And I think somebody is coming into this deep awareness of it's kind of time to make that decision. To live life consciously instead of letting life just constantly happen to me. We always have that conscious choice to, you know, better our life. So somebody's coming into their own manifesting capabilities, their own channeling capabilities. We all have the ability to convey messages from the spiritual realm, from our higher self. But we do have to be open to receive those messages. So... Whatever catalytic event is taking place in the energies today, it is to get somebody to open up to their own psychic gifts. Sorry about that, guys. A call came through. To open up to their own psychic gifts, whether this is psychic sight, third eye chakra, ear chakra activation, clairaudiency, um, clairsentience. Many of us have all of these clair abilities. And we are encouraged as a collective to develop these abilities. So I feel this massive heart chakra awakening coming through for the collective. And it is through the gateway of the heart that we can fill ourselves with love, forgiveness, and compassion. And that really is the gateway receptor of all of these cosmic energies coming through. So I think get ready for a reunion of some sort, a reconciliation of some sort with a loved one. This could be a child, a parent, an ex-lover. It doesn't have to be, but it very well could be. There's a need to reconcile some past differences, and I feel the energy really is bringing forward a powerful shift when it comes to breaking free from these roadblocks, these challenges, understanding why they've been, in, been put in place, protecting your energy, and seeking an alternative solution. So... Watch out for any unhealthy habits. Somebody here is definitely involved in a situationship that is helping them to learn a valuable life lesson to evolve beyond these negative experiences. So I think get ready for somebody to take a risk. 
Maybe you've been waiting for somebody to take a risk for quite some time. I think somebody's been waiting on you or you've been waiting on somebody and I think somebody's getting ready to find their strength and their bravery with that Mars aspect today to take a leap of faith because the universe has a plan and I do think somebody here is needing to seek some guidance. But we'll see what else needs to come through, guys. Yeah, I think somebody's getting ready to release a lot of pride and a lot of ego and maybe come forward with that apology because somebody's getting back on track and I think somebody does want to come forward and spend some time with you, some quality time with you. But maybe somebody was stuck in some egoic energies when it comes to some pride and some ego, when it comes to maybe losing you in the past. Maybe somebody fears coming forward because they don't want to get accused or, you know, have to deal with somebody questioning them. I do feel maybe in the past there was some accusations. I do feel there was definitely a death of a situation. Somebody's going into a lot of grief when it comes to, you know, releasing some pride and some ego. That's definitely a heart chakra awakening, a final ending. This could even be a crossed on, a crossed over loved one guiding you towards somebody that has been waiting for you because I feel this universal force is coming in and I'm being shown the tower with this card. So somebody is kind of being forced in a new direction. And this is a deep past life connection coming up to be addressed. So get ready. Big, big changes are on the horizon and somebody's about ready to get back on track. Somebody definitely wants to spend some time with you and maybe this has been a long time coming. I think somebody is getting ready to travel towards you. You might likely have children with this person or um, somebody here has children involved. And I do think this is going to lead to a deep level of intimacy and quite possibly a higher level of commitment. This could have been somebody you've been married to in the past. Doesn't have to be. But I think somebody here sees you as a life partnership. And I think they want to say sorry for walking away from you in the past. Somebody regrets walking away from you and the children in the past. Definitely wanting to travel towards you, maybe even take you away on a vacation because somebody wants a fresh start. And I think somebody's getting ready to release any substance abuse in order to be able to be emotionally available and intimate with you. Definitely a lot of regret when it comes to walking away from you in the past. I think somebody wishes they didn't make that decision. And I do think somebody here is, is, is hoping for a renewal. I think somebody maybe had to, you know, release any resentment and anger when it comes to an ending in the past. Maybe somebody fears, you know, being interrogated if they come forward. But I do feel this sense of really wanting to create emotional intimacy for that brand new beginning. I think maybe you've been kept in the dark for a long time and somebody is, you know, wanting to rebuild that trust that they broke within this connection. So I think um, in the in a past life, you were likely um, you were likely very faithful to one another, likely had a very good life together. Maybe in a past life, the two of you did not have children together. I do feel somebody here has been playing the victim, really needing to regain their strength and fortitude when it comes to taking their power back. But we'll see what else the universe has. Um, what do we got here? Star C. So I do feel somebody's awakening uh, to their galactic starseed origins when it comes to this heart awakening, when it comes to their higher soul's mission this life. Somebody's definitely journeying towards a higher level of consciousness when it comes to their purpose, when it comes to being that light for humanity. And I think there's definitely a major karmic cycle being mastered in the energies. And, and I do think somebody played into some pride, some ego, some greed, maybe clinging to a lot of material possessions and they thought maybe that's what gave them power and I think they're starting to realize all the money in the world isn't going to feel isn't going to fill this void that they need to come back from something that they walked away from I kind of feel somebody's been to war here going deep within transcending all of these past life wounds all of these negative experiences that have shaped us up until now uh, breaking free from this definition that really has limited their expansion, I feel somebody's getting ready to maybe um, come forward with a new business proposal. 
Uh, definitely, maybe this is a partnership that will lead to an entrepreneurial business, the two of you working together. I think it's more than just an intimate, loving connection. I do feel this is stemming around somebody's mission. And I do think somebody here is gaining a lot of self-mastery when it comes to this past life connection. And I think maybe people will look to you for advice and guidance because of, you know, this mastery of this lesson. So I kind of feel like this has been a very long and painful journey of separation. And maybe you've been in a period of fond reflection when it comes to these past energy energies. And I do feel it's kind of time to release this long-standing family burden. And this is definitely stemming around a lot of past life karma from many past lifetimes. And this is the lifetime where you acknowledge and release this burden once and for all because I think there's going to be a change of course when it comes to a family structure, recognizing these negative family patterns from our lineage and healing these wounds for the future generations is what I'm feeling. So get ready for a shakeup. I feel leaving a situation that has felt like a burden, um, somebody walked away and went towards another connection is what I'm feeling. And this has been a long-standing burden. And I think the time is now to address this and to heal this. So let's jump in with some cards and see what else needs to come through. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Four of cups. So I kind of feel somebody's really sitting in a lot of truth. I think they're, they're really coming into a deep awareness of what they missed out on. They missed out on a holy grail loving connection and all they can think about is that missed opportunity, wanting to quickly come in with an offer, an invite, a lot of passionate communication because somebody's finally ready to spin the wheel forward. I think this is a faded turn of events and I think maybe this has been a long time coming. This could very well have been two years, eight years, four years um, waiting for this reconciliation, but let's see what needs to come through in the energies. Oh my gosh, yeah, four of wands, foundations are in focus, and it, it does appear that a new doorway is opening up, but somebody's been playing into pride and ego. Somebody's really been a coward when it comes to facing this karma, rectifying a past mistake. Fours are all about protection. I feel an Aries energy coming through Leo, fire, passion, passion, masculine energy. And there's definitely a holy grail union on the table, but somebody is really needing to gather their strength when it comes to, you know, bringing forward a solid offer. The page, the page is, you know, brand new, fresh energy. You might have to start from ground zero. It's going to take a lot of work to build up that stability, to build that foundation again, but there is a need for this karmic rebalancing. There is definitely a deep spiritual union on the table, quite possibly twin flame. This is going to be a lifetime partnership. The two of you will see eye to eye, uh, cancer energy. I do think get ready to receive some communication. Somebody's really trying to gather their strength to bring some communication forward, but I don't think they wanna come forward without something solid and stable to offer. Libra energy, cancer energy. Um, I kind of feel get ready for somebody to come in very, very quickly with a lot of communication. I feel a masculine here that wants to rush in and defend a connection that I feel was walked away from because I think maybe they fear you're going to have many options now and they want to be victorious. They want victory and success with you and I think there's going to be a new offer coming in, maybe several offers, but somebody is ready to defend this connection. Somebody's going deep within some underworld aspects when it comes to fear. Fear of not having enough to give you. Fear of you maybe choosing another option. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more Cancer energy. This is definitely universally driven change because we have a major arcana in every aspect so far. So maybe somebody was on the defense before. Maybe somebody had their walls up and they weren't ready to be intimate with you or emotionally intimate. And I think somebody here has been to war, has been through the battle zone when it comes to a negative experience and maybe going through a period of disillusionment, but they're ready for a reconciliation. Um, they, they were definitely in a toxic situation with a karmic feminine energy, somebody very controlling, possessive, jealous, demanding, obsessive, um, definitely chained to something very toxic. 
perhaps somebody all the way back from childhood. We got Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Energy, Capricorn. But I think there's a lot of truth when it comes to what is needing to be left out in the cold. And I think somebody is getting ready to walk away from something that they have felt toxically chained to for quite some time um, in order for this reconciliation because there's a lot of truth here coming through. The Palace of Swords is an abundance of downloads, an abundance of truth, and this masculine is definitely receiving, you know, the message from his higher self, hey, there's a need to rebalance the situation once and for all. So I think maybe somebody did leave you out in the cold, ghosted you, you know, has not communicated with you for quite some time, Taurus. And I think there's a lot of truth coming forward when it comes to reconciling something from the past. And I do think somebody here is needing to bring an apology forward. And now we got a true pair on the board. The King and Queen of Wands are visionary leaders. Maybe there's a masculine here shedding some obsessive, uh, some obsessive compulsive energies when it comes to making amends from the past, the king and queen of wands are visionaries. They are here to lead the way. Somebody had a mask on in the past. Somebody was not authentic in the past. And somebody, you know, was playing into a lot of temptations, a lot of lustful desires, materialism, and greed. And I think this really has been the detriment. And there is a need to apologize. Uh, we got almost all of the pages out now. So... I do think get ready to receive a message, an apology, an offer, or an invite because somebody sees this as their ultimate contentment. You know, happy home, happy life, you know, two kids and a dog. Like, this is what you prayed for. This is what you asked for. And maybe somebody was working on their finances, but I do feel this life force energy has been activated when it comes to a brand new beginning, a clean slate, and recognizing what needs to be healed. And I do think children have been affected by this missed opportunity. Yeah, I think in the past there was a big, huge missed opportunity. And I do feel there was blocked communication. And I kind of feel... Yeah, somebody withheld a lot of communication. The scales were not balanced. I think maybe somebody went towards a karmic feminine and there's about to be a major rebalancing. The four and the six equals a 10. But because the six is in reverse, somebody's been juggling for a long time when it comes to coming forward and making amends. I think really working into a lot of fear-based energy when it comes to clearing that fear, when it comes to, you know, hitting that lowest of the lows, somebody's definitely learning a lesson. And this is stemming around a lot of core wounding from some past life karma. There was definitely a missed opportunity. There's that Sag energy with the moon. I think somebody is experiencing some expansion when it comes to this missed opportunity. There's a lot being illuminated when it comes to this greedy miser withholding energy. And I think somebody is, you know, experiencing a string of bad luck, a string of bad karma, because it's kind of time to make that decision to go towards healing. So somebody's definitely at the crossroads needing to choose between two pathways. You know, wishes are being presented. Somebody has the ability to go after wish fulfillment. The doorway is wide open. But, you know, we always have to choose. We have to make that choice. And somebody's been all up in their head, stressed, anxiety, sleepless nights. I think they're living a waking nightmare for going in the wrong direction. And it's kind of time to moderate and to rebalance this situation. The angels are trying to bring two very powerful soulmates together. Big, big change is coming because it's kind of time to close out this karmic cycle once and for all. So could be dealing with a Sag and Aquarius. Um, a lot of Mars energy coming through. It's kind of time to take that leap of faith. Somebody here is feeling very foolish. Very foolish for not seeing things clearly in the past. There's a lot of regret here. A lot of remorse when it comes to this missed opportunity. I think somebody, you know, went towards a very toxic connection. Went towards a third party. And there's a lot of regret, remorse, and guilt when it comes to an ending. When it comes to walking away from something that I think was divinely ordained for you. And I think somebody knows it's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I think they know the feminine in this connection definitely has her walls up. She's on guard. And you better come with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I think there's somebody really sitting in a lot of heavy emotions right now. Gaining that new perspective. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
when it comes to their true love, the Empress. The Empress is the ultimate nurturer. And she's about to birth this brand new life. So there's definitely a masculine that went towards an illusion coming out of that suspended that suspended punishment energy really deep in their emotions when it comes to who they view as the love of their life. And they are getting ready to come forward with that cup because they want intimacy. They want a committed partnership. And the Empress is... You know, everybody wants the Empress, and I think somebody's afraid that this Empress might have many options. So get ready for a major illumination because it's kind of time. That Seven of Pentacles is saying, time's up. It's decision time. Do you want this brand new beginning? Because you've been holding back, and there is an opportunity for the two of you to work really well together but you're going to have to get honest and you're going to have to heal this past deception. You're going to have to heal this past third party interference. And, and you're going to have to have that that heart to heart conversation when it comes to this past betrayal, backstabbing, thieving. If you are to build that legacy for the future. So I think somebody's really been stuck in an old mindset and a karmic imprisonment and a karmic entanglement of their own making. And I think somebody's bubble is about to get burst in the energies today is kind of what I'm feeling. So let's get a couple of messages from Spirit. A lot of energy indicating communication. So I think somebody is definitely experiencing a deep level of maturity. Somebody's getting ready to mature out of a very toxic situation. A lot of wisdom has been achieved and it's kind of time to understand that this lesson has been learned. It's time to exp expand beyond this stuckness and to take that leap of faith to take that leap of faith in a new direction because I think it's kind of time to recognize all of the subtle cues. I don't think there's been communication for quite some time and I feel the masculine in this connection has been deeply struggling and all they can think about is having you in their life. Somebody is looking at this Empress Taurus Libra as a gift to them and their true heart's treasure and they didn't see it clearly the first time. So... I feel get ready for somebody to choose to come towards you and love you and support you and give you what it is that you deserve and they're not going to make you feel small this second time around. I think somebody is really asking for some forgiveness in the energies. They want to liberate their heart from this deep pain, from this separation. They wish that they never ever mistreated you and I think maybe it's time to talk about it and to move on from the past because this is likely going to lead to a brand new family structure that will support you, that will offer you the love and the support that you need, uh, Pisces energy. It's time to seek that balance. It's really time to process these deep emotions in order to embrace this healing journey because I think the both of you have really been through a tough time here. And this Empress has found her strength and her determination to recover and transform her life. And she's about to birth this brand new beginning. And I think there's a masculine here that's been going into quiet meditation, trying to find himself again. Uh, definitely a major lesson when it comes to your soul's evolution. And I think this is likely a, a twin flame connection where the two of you have, have had a lot of very difficult past life karma to work through. And I think the time has come where you've both healed enough to acknowledge this and to finally heal from it once and for all because I feel somebody here has definitely compromised their integrity to go towards a toxic connection to just not be alone and, and a major, major shift in perspective is happening. So I think somebody is really starting to look at this from this Empress's point of view from a new lens in order to really understand this situation. Because I think somebody was easily distracted uh, by, you know, temptation, lustful temptation. And uh, they're getting ready to swallow their pride. To come back tenfold to make up for these past errors. And I kind of feel somebody is getting ready to break free from this tired gray thought pattern in order to re-energize their life is what I'm feeling. So what other energies need to come through for the collective today? Go with your gut. Somebody definitely did not trust their gut instincts in the past. They've been asleep. <laughs> They've been in like fear mode. <laughs> Maybe it's time to face that fear and tell that fear to shut the fuck up and get out of your way and go after what it is that you truly want because 
I think these fearful thought cycles really have kept somebody from taking action towards their true heart desire. And I'm being shown a ring. So maybe somebody feared commitment in the past and they're about to inject some passion and confidence in their life in order to take action because they've been in this overstimulated um, mental processing. And I think somebody definitely is minimalizing their life when it comes to materialistic aspects. And I think somebody is going to request some forgiveness here because they're tired of this never ending onslaught of grieving is what I'm feeling. And I feel if you wondered if this is ever going to happen, you're about to get answers to your biggest questions because I do feel somebody is prepared to come forward and be absolutely transparent with their emotions. I think there's been this sinking suspicion that something is shifting and I think you're right. I think anybody, I think somebody is saying like anything but this, please, please let me have another chance because I do feel this is a true destined fated connection and I think it's way past time to bring resolution is what I'm feeling. So somebody is getting ready to answer their true calling. I think somebody hates not having you in their life and they're getting ready to go for it. As terrifying as it is, I don't think there's any alternative. Somebody knows it's action time. So get ready to get grounded because there are a lot of powerful energy shifts coming up and you might need to instill those firm boundaries between you and any karmic entities that have kept you from coming into this divine union. So get ready. I think somebody wants to make this public. They are getting ready to travel towards you. They are going to do whatever it takes to break free from toxic family members, family and friends in order to give back to you what it is that you truly deserve. I think somebody here has been in a very toxic karmic entanglement, playing into fear, propagated um, energies, and uh, the complexities there are being released because somebody is, is holding their heart because they see this empress in high regard. And I think somebody's been playing into feeling small, not wanting to be vulnerable, maybe wanting somebody to just kind of nurture them. And I feel somebody is getting ready to grow up once and for all because it's kind of time to own this. So get ready, guys. Somebody is without a doubt um, deepening their perspective when it comes to this separation. And this perpetual restlessness is really asking somebody to go deep and to go after what it is that they really want in order to drown out all of this mental clutter. Somebody is being reminded what is reality and what is illusion, and somebody is ready to align to the energies in order to go after what it is that they truly deserve. And that's what I got for a message today, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin flame reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.